food, baby. I love food and I know that you love food too. Today we go back to Vietnam. I have a ban bao chai and it is this huge thing here, like a bun, and it's filled with vegetables. And I think the correct name is chai for the vegetable part. And I have a Saigon export beer. And yeah, I'm excited to go back to Vietnam. I've tried already the Ban Mi Bo and a 333 beer. The label looked pretty similar, so I think it's the same company. I hope it's not the same beer. But let's start with this one, the Ban Bao Chai. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carrots, mushrooms, onion, not bad. Warmer bite. Mm. I think also glass noodles. Vermicelli noodles as well. Warm up, bite, nice. Mm. And at the beginning, I thought it's like too much dough, but it's quite soft. It dissolves pretty easily in your mouth. So nice this one. And I took the things from a place called the small Vietnamese and Korean corner in Munich. And yeah, they have not many things, but a nice selection, I would say. Some Korean dishes, some Vietnamese dishes. And I would give the Ban Bao Chai 73 points. All right, let's try the Saigon export beer. Light beer. Well, let's go. Mm, that's nice, I would say. Rich in flavor, soothing. One more sip. Mm -hmm. 4.9% of alcohol, and it's a really good flavor, I would say. I like it. On some days you like beer more, on others not as much, but it fits also very nicely with the Ban Bao Chai and I would give the Saigon 74 points. Good beer. So there you go guys, another taste test of Vietnamese food, another Vietnamese episode of Food and Drink. Let me know if you enjoyed it, uh, let me know what I should try next. And there will be coming Vietnamese videos for sure, because the food is amazing. And yeah, comment, like or dislike, subscribe of course to my channel. See ya!